Welcome to the My Compass PA mobile app demonstration video on how to create a My Compass account using the mobile app. Users would need to create a My Compass account if they don't already have an existing one. If users have a My Compass account, they can enter their My Compass account username and password and tap the login button at the bottom of the screen. Since this user doesn't have an existing My Compass account, they'll tap the Need an Account? Create One Now link directly under the login button. When they do, they'll be taken to the Ready to Create Your Account screen. Users are provided a total of four options to use to create their My Compass account in the mobile app. Note that if the user remembers their login information at any point in the process, they can tap the Already Have an Account Login link at the bottom of the screen, or tap the Back button at the top of the screen to return to the login screen. The first option is to use Case Number. Users have this option if they have active benefits, pending benefits, recently rejected benefits, or a case that closed in the last 90 days. We'll look closer at this option in a moment. For now, we'll look at other available options. The second option is to use chip information. The user will tap the chip button. On the chip information screen, the user would enter their nine-digit chip UFI number in the first field, and their social security number in the second field. If they don't know where to find their social security number, they can tap the information button in the social security number field. A pop-up appears. The pop-up shows a sample social security card with a box around where a social security number is found. The user taps OK to return to the previous screen. If the user doesn't have access to their social security number, they can tap the I want to enter my MCI number instead link located under the social security number field. The screen will change to allow the user to enter their MCI, medical ID, or EBT card number. If they don't know where to find that information, they can tap the Information button in the MCI, Medical ID, EBT field. Two images will appear, one of a sample EBT card and one of a sample medical ID card. A box surrounds the area where the user can find the EBT or medical ID number on their cards. The user will tap OK to return to the previous screen. After retrieving the number, the user will enter the correct number in the field. The user decides to enter their social security number and taps the I want to enter my social security number instead link located under the MCI medical ID EBT field. Here, the user enters their social security number. Having done so, the user would then tap the green Get Started button at the bottom of the screen. However, we're going to show the next available option. The next option is to use the eForm information. The user taps the eForm button here, located next to the Case Number button. Users would take advantage of the eForm option when working with a community partner to submit an application using the Compass website. The community partner will give the user their eForm number and eForm password. Please note that when entering their eForm number, the number must start with an uppercase W. After entering their eForm number in the first field, they would enter their eForm password in the second field. The user would then tap Get Started. However, we're going to show the next available option. The final option, if the user receives a LIHEAT preseason registration number, is for the user to create their My Compass account with their LIHEAT registration number. To do this, the user would tap the LIHEAT button, which now appears to the right of the case number button. On the screen that appears, the user will enter their LIHEAT registration number and social security number. If they don't know where to find their LIHEAT registration number, they can tap the information button. An image of a sample LIHEAP card will appear with a box around where the LIHEAP registration number is found. The user will tap OK to return to the previous screen. On the LIHEAP registration screen, the user enters their LIHEAP registration number. Below the registration number field, the user will enter their social security number. Again, the information button appears next to the social security number field if needed. After entering their social security number, the user would tap Get Started. However, this user will enter their case number to create a My Compass account. The user taps the case number button, now located to the right of the chip button. 
This is step one of the account creation process when using a case number. First, on the Ready to Create Your Account screen, the user selects their county. They can tap the county field and then type their county, in which case the county will appear for selection. Or the user could locate and tap the relevant county to select the name, which this user does. Next, the user will enter the last seven digits of their case record number. If they're unable to locate their case record number, there is an information button in the case record number field. When tapped, an image of sample case documentation will appear. The pop-up shows a box surrounding potential case record number locations. The user taps OK to return to the previous screen. After entering their case record number, the user will then enter their social security number. Again, the information button appears next to the social security number field if needed. Also, if the user does not know their social security number, they have the option to tap the I want to enter my MCI number instead link. Having entered their social security number, the user will tap Get Started. In step two, the user will enter their first name, last name, date of birth, and email address. If they would like alerts regarding the availability of online notices sent to the email address they entered, the user can tap the Would you like to receive online messages checkbox. The demonstration video titled Receiving Notices in My Compass PA Going Paperless provides more information regarding how to opt into receiving notices in the mobile app. Please note that the user must have active benefits to opt into receiving e-notices. After completing the necessary information, the user will tap Next Step at the bottom of the screen. In Step 3, the user will need to pick a username and password following the guidelines provided in the app. As they enter their username, the app will inform the user which of the guidelines the username meets by placing a check mark next to the respective guideline. After entering their username, the user will create a password, ensuring that they follow the guidelines in the app. As they enter their password in the first password field, the app will inform the user which of the guidelines the password meets by placing a check mark next to the respective guideline. If the password meets all the guidelines, the user will have to re-enter the password in the next password field. If the passwords match, the user will tap Next Step. Note that if the username is already being used and the user taps Next Step, a message will appear informing them that the username is already in use. The user will then have to enter a different username. In Step 4, the user will need to select security questions. These questions and answers will be used if the user forgets their password. Here the user taps the first question field. A list of questions will appear. In this instance, for the first question, the user taps, What city was your spouse born in? For the second question, the user taps, What is your favorite author's last name? For the third question, the user taps, What is the first school you attended? The user enters the answer to each question. In this case, Harrisburg, King, and Steele High. The user taps Next Step. In the fifth and final step, the user will be prompted to read and accept the privacy policy. This is a scrollable screen. The user will need to review all information. When the user reaches the bottom of the screen, they will see a link that reads, Additional Resources, Commonwealth Privacy Policy, HIPAA Notice. The user taps the link. When they do, the Commonwealth's Privacy Notice will open in a web page outside the mobile app. After the user reads the privacy policy, they'll need to navigate back to the mobile app. Once back in the mobile app and the user reads all information, they'll need to tap the checkbox next to, I have read and agree with these terms and conditions. After confirming that they have read and agree to the terms and conditions, the Next Step button becomes available. The user taps Next Step. Afterward, the user will see a screen informing them that the account was successfully created and that they can now log in at which point the user taps Login Now at the bottom of the screen. They will be returned to the Login screen where they can now log in. Thank you for watching this My Compass PA mobile app demonstration video. 
Please note that links to all my Compass PA demonstration videos appear in the video description below. Have a great day.